Today I wanted to share a quick personal automation I use every day for my content creation. And this is an automation that definitely many will make really good use of. And it doesn't have to only work in content creation. You can use it in other areas or domains that fits your use case where this applies. So let me show you rather than tell you and let's just jump straight into what I'm trying to achieve and later we'll go to the automation. What you are looking at here is Notion. It might be familiar to many of you. It might not for everyone. It's basically a note keeping application that is basically on steroids because you can inject it with lots of automation, integration, AI, and so many features, even code. And I use it for me just to plan things, keep my ideas in one place, keep record of them, go back to them when I run out of ideas to make videos and so forth. But basically here is where all my ideas live. And this is a very simple funnel of ideas where I put what I'm planning to talk about in future videos. What is the status of that idea? Is it something still in ideation? Basically, I'm thinking about it. Or is it something I actually am recording or recorded? Or is it something I'm editing or something I published? So I just want to know about that. And, you know, some simple things you can see here around what type of content it is and what it talks about. Basically, the areas that I cover in my channel, you can see here, no low code automation, AI, and a combination of these um, areas. I have, by the way, full-fledged scripting automation I've created, I'm not using it now, that you give it some details, you've given it some topics, it will do a research for you online, it will give you a full-fledged, complete, end-to-end, word-by-word type of script. So if any of you out there is interested to see something like that, leave me a comment in the comment section and I can cover it in a separate video. So here, going back to Notion, you can see I have different fields that I've added just to enable this automation. One of them is actually hidden and all these checkboxes are things to either trigger or stop the automation. So let me just show you one more hidden field I have, which is the Zapier stopper. So let me unhide it here. So here you can see with this unhidden, the full aspect of my database. And those four columns are the ones I added for the automation. So fundamentally, what I wanted is, I wanted an area where I can tell the automation what I think the video should cover, what I want to cover in that idea. So if I have an idea like, for example, the idea of this video, so you can see Notion Video Script Automation. This is the video I'm actually recording now. I gave it some ideas of what I think I have to cover or it could be a good idea to cover. And then I wanted the automation to do the work for me. And then here I have a checkbox ready for script. This is just make sure that Everything here is put in place before it triggers. So I trigger it through checking this box. And once the script is delivered, it automatically checks this box. So any update to any field that sees this checked will not touch that row because it will know that this automation already ran at that row. So that will fundamentally prevent the automation from going into loops and for me to run out of tasks on Zapier for no reason. So I keep it hidden so I don't actually uncheck any boxes by mistake. So let me go back and hide it. Now let's move to the actual automation and go through it. It's a simple one, but a very powerful one. So here's our automation. So basically the trigger will be an update database item in Notion. So anything that gets updated, it will trigger this automation. So you can see here, it's a very simple trigger. Again, just selecting the options on Notion app on Zapier. The first thing I will always do is filter. So I wanna make sure that again, I don't either trigger something that is not ready for scripting or for this to go into loops. So I put three conditions basically. I want the checkbox ready to script to be true, basically checked. So I said, yeah, go ahead with this one. And then I want to make sure that the Zapier stopper is false. So basically it wasn't completed before and it was checked. So if checked, this will not continue. And last but not least, I want to make sure also for this to carry on that my ideas, that field where I put my ideas around the script is existing because that's the core thing about this automation. Now that we know everything checks out, it's ready to progress as an automation. The first thing I do is do an online search. And again, this is perplexity. You might notice already I'm using perplexity more and more in my automations, just making them super powerful. And I'll make sure in the end screens, I include my more in-depth video around using the perplexity API if 
this something you want to start using in your automations. But basically, I give it the information that is already existing in the Notion database from my ideas around the topic. I want to talk about the topic itself. And then I have a detailed prompt for it to go search online, look for YouTube videos, look for blogs that are linked to YouTube videos, and try to transcript if possible. I don't think it actually does that, but I ask it anyway. And look at those blogs, look at those online sources, see what's being covered around the topic and return that information to me. And it will be a huge text response. So this is nothing that I need structure. I just need the text and the information. Perplexity returns. Now I can make this really complex if I want to, if it's really important. So I can definitely uh, get URLs of YouTube videos I can add a chat GPT transcript uh, steps. It will be multiple steps actually to get the transcripts out of those videos. Even it's easier probably or more accurate to use the YouTube API, which this is a public one to get the transcript of any URL, pull all of those transcripts and then feed them to chat GPT to get the script. I kept it simple. Today, this fits my use case. You might want to do it complex. Do you want me to build something more complex that you might need? Tell me, I'll do it for you. Um, and write a comment in the comment section if this is something you're interested in. But for me, I wanted to keep it simple. So once perplexity runs, I'll get the whole text of the research and the gaps it found and the areas that I should cover or not cover. I get the whole thing from perplexity and then I go through ChatGPT. Now, I don't ask perplexity for a script because I know for a fact ChatGPT can do these things much better. So you can see here my ChatGPT step. And what I do here is that I have a conversation with the assistant and I created in the past part of that more complex automation I told you about a script writer assistant. So it has a knowledge base. It has so many information how to create scripts. And here I give it a more specific prompt just for this call, which is basically give me a high level outline of the script, what I need to cover and how or what. I don't need all the other elements. And I give it the video idea itself, the point that I added to the database of the ideas I thought should be covered. And then I give it the response that came back from perplexity. And finally, once I get the response from this assistant, I will update the database. And when I go back to Notion, this column will pop up once the automation is complete and I will get a high level script that will help me be more structured in how I do these videos. And for the sake of showing you the end result, let me, and for an example, to show you what I got for the video I'm actually covering now. So this is the Notion video script automation. So I click open here. You can see it in a more detailed manner. So you can see it's looking at the hook. Maybe it's not so visible on the screen. Um, it's giving me something around the introduction. How do I introduce that? I didn't follow this to the T, but it gave me the flow that eventually I decide how to go through it. But at least I have an idea of how to go in a structured manner. So this is talking about introducing Notion before going through things and then giving some value here uh, about Notion. So I'm, hey, I'm not sponsored by Notion. I'm not going to cover that. For example, I skipped it. When I become big enough and Notion decides to sponsor me, then I'll do what ChatGPT is asking me to do. And then it's just talking about things more on Notion, but also more on the per perplexity step. So uh, value packed insight in terms of Google search hacks, uh, Google Scholar, YouTube search, all of that. I will not cover because all of that is happening in perplexity back end. So I don't know what exactly it did, but I'm getting a very good quality uh, response from it. So basically it will take you step by step and even going to the level of telling me how to deal with the conclusion. How do I give the summary? What summary do I give? And then a call to action. So I hope you enjoy this video, this short automation that is really powerful. Now you can use it in so many ways. For me, it is getting a script. For you, it could be something less or more complex depending on your use case. You have certain uh, information about customers. You want automatic emails to be generated for you to talk to those or send it to those customers. This is a very simple, powerful automation and definitely made 10 times more powerful with Perplexity AI. With this, remember, ChatGPT asked me to take care of the call to action by the end of the video. So with this, I hope you have value out of this, you enjoyed it. If so, hit that like button, consider subscribe, but most importantly for me personally, write a comment in the comment section. I'd love to have that interaction with you and maybe get ideas about 
more things you want me to do or cover around automation, AI, or whatever I cover on this channel. And with this, thank you for watching so far and goodbye.